I hate that I have to make a video like this today, but this needs to be said because it really does put a lot of people in danger, especially some people that don't take the time to really look things through and make sure that they're being safe. Now, this is something that has happened in the past and it specifically happened to me as well. And I'm going to share that story at the end after I give my message. But people are out there again trying to scam utilizing my personality. What people are doing here is they're creating accounts on different platforms Twitter, X, if you want to call it, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. And they are using my images from my social media. And they're scamming people, trying to get them to send them money for winning a prize. Anytime that you're being asked to send money for something because you won something instantly, you should know that this is a scam. This is something that you should be reporting. I just got a message this morning from someone named Prince in my Discord, and uh, they were a victim of this. Essentially, there was a TikTok campaign that was going on where someone was a winner of the Echo Gaming Prize. I don't even know what it was, and I honestly haven't even seen the account. And what did he say? He said, my uh, assistant or my agent, I believe he called it, reached out to them and said, to win the prize and to claim your prize, you need to send us X amount of dollars, and then we could send you your prize. This is what happens after that. First of all, th there is no prize because it's not my giveaway. It's someone behind a computer screen completely fabricating this to make money. So after you send that person the prize, they're about to ship it to you. But you know what? They run into some kind of a shipping issue. So you need to pay additional money for insurance. This is their second stab attempt at trying to take some more money from you. So you're already in this situation, you're like, oh no, I won this prize, I want it so bad, and now I need to pay additional because there's been an issue, I need to insure it. So people will send money a second time. And then what happens is they get ghosted. They are no longer in contact, the person in this account completely blocks them or does not talk to them whatsoever, and any money that was sent is now gone. This happens all the time on many people accounts. And when you think about it, I'm not a massive content creator. I am not a massive personality. I'm not a face that you see out in the street and everyone's like, oh my God, that's Echo Gaming. That's not how this is. I'm a pretty small niche content creator. And if this is happening with me, you could bet that it's happening with many other content creators with more uh, noticeable faces, people that are just more YouTube famous, I guess you could say. And this is a massive problem because people are getting scammed big time. I'm talking about people that just, they see the face that they trust. They see Echo Gaming. Oh my God, I watch his videos. He's doing a giveaway. I'm going to get involved. And they instantly have that trust because they've been a subscriber or because they've been watching my videos for a while. And people are exploiting this and taking advantage of that trust that I've built with the community, making a fake account with my face on it, and then having people send money. Now, I do giveaways. I do them on X, and I'll sometimes do them on my YouTube channels. Remember, I do have four YouTube channels. I will never, in a giveaway, ask someone to send me money. Ever. Ever. There is literally no opportunity or chance that I will ever ask someone for money, that I will ask them for shipping information, that I will ask them for any of their security details, their name, their address, their social security number, anything from their license. I will never ask for this information because I will never do a giveaway that is a physical thing that needs to be shipped to you. Anything that I give away will be something that I could digitally send. So I would need maybe an email address or your PayPal email so that I could send you money. That would be it. And to be very honest with you, I rarely ever send money to people. And if I do a giveaway, it's typically a game code inside of maybe Brawl Stars, Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, maybe Diablo Immortal at some point in time. But these things don't happen from real content creators. They're not going to be sending you gifts that they need money for to get them to you. It is absolutely fake. Now, there was an example where I was giving something away on Twitter. I was giving away five skins inside of Brawl Stars. 
what I noticed was happening was the way I do the giveaway is I post a giveaway. I give people two to three days and they have to just like and, you know, comment down below and I will DM. I'll send a direct message to them on Twitter because they're following. I could DM them and I will send them. Congratulations. You've won. Here is your code. Thanks for participating. They have to then click the code. It takes them inside of the game and they open up and they have the cosmetic there in their mail. Very simple. But what I noticed was happening was people were making fake X accounts, utilizing the same artwork as mine, making the name as close as they can to mine, and then DMing those players, those people that inter entered into my giveaway, and they would then tell them, congratulations, you've won. Please send me all of your details so I can get you the prize. This is an attempt at people fishing for your information so they can then use it to steal from you. That's one example. Another example is if I do one on, on YouTube and I ask for you to comment down below, people are going to then, these scammers, they're going to look through the comments and see who can they get in touch with? Who left an email? Who left an account that they can get in touch with? And they're gonna impersonate me or whatever other content creator and try to get something out of you. It's not safe and it's actually disgusting. And this is not the way I want to start my Monday morning. I was early at the gym, ready to have a productive day, and I got a message. And uh, I, I hate seeing that people are getting hurt, financially hurt, because of this type of a thing. And there's literally nothing that I can do about it, besides put out this video warning everyone. I'm putting it out on this channel because this channel has the most reach. This is the channel that gets the most eyes on the content, so that's why I wanted to post it here. I'm not actually sure where people are being scammed from. If it's my Echo Gaming, Echo Gaming Diablo, Echo Raid, or Echo Rumble channel. It could be any of them. So I'll never ask for money. I'll never ask for your details. And honestly, on TikTok, I have an account on TikTok that I barely use. And someone must have made a fake TikTok account for this instance. Now, what do you need to do? How can you be safe? You have to make sure that you are checking that the person contacting you is actually the person that you're interacting with or that you're trying to interact with. If you get an email from Echo Gaming or Echo Gamings, someone that um, changes the name because my the account name is taken, you have to make sure, click on the profile, make sure it takes you back to the proper page. If you click on the profile and takes you to a brand new account or some scammer account, you know that it's not actually me. And it's really easy to get caught up in this because, again, you're excited about winning something. Oh, my God, my, my favorite content creator or a content creator that I love watching has reached out to me and has given me a prize. This is always going to happen across YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. It's always going to happen. There's no way to stop it. The only thing that you can do is once you realize that this is not Echo Gaming, report the account. That's it. That's literally the only thing you can do and never give away your information. Now, I was scammed once before, and this was probably about three years ago, and it still bothers me to this day. Now, I'm a guy of the internet. I've been on the internet making videos, understanding technology and security for eight years. So if I can get scammed, in my opinion, anybody can. So here's my situation. This is what I was doing. I, uh, I used to be really big into reptiles. I had a ton of snakes and lizards and things like that. I used to breed them and sell them, and it was just a fun hobby. So I was on Facebook looking through the reptile threads, and there was someone selling two snakes that I wanted. Long story short, I started talking with them. We did a, a transaction. I sent them a couple of hundred dollars for these snakes, and it was being shipped to me. It never came. I reached out. Same situation. The... They needed insurance because the snakes had been lost. The person even then went as far as to say, how dare you not do the insurance? These snakes are going to die in the box. There were never any snakes. There was never any, uh, there was never any company that was selling the snakes. It was all 100% a scam. I paid them through Venmo and you can't claim that money back. You can't claim any money from that back because it's directly you sending money from your bank account to them. And there's no way... At least at that point in time, there was no way for me to get my money back. So I was out a couple of hundred bucks and that sucked. But what was the worst thing is that I felt like I was taken advantage of. And I'm like, how can I, someone that completely gets this space, get scammed like that? It felt bad. So if it could happen to me, it could happen to anyone else. And unfortunately, it's happened to some people right now utilizing my identity. And I'm sure many others as well. Please 
make sure that whenever you're interacting with someone online, that you're not giving away any information and that you're not sending anyone money. And when something like this does happen, you realize this is not legit, this is a scam, report the account so that it doesn't happen to other people. I'm really sorry that this is happening to some of you guys out there. It really makes me feel terrible. Uh, hopefully this message keeps some of you safe.